Master the use of through in movement. English collocations simplified. Hello, language learners. Welcome to today's video. In this lesson, we're going to focus on prepositions of movement, more specifically, the preposition through used to indicate passing. This is an advanced vocabulary lesson and we're focusing on the preposition plus noun collocations. The ability to use the preposition through correctly will significantly improve your English proficiency and fluency. Let's dive right in. The preposition through is often used to convey the idea of moving in one side and out of the other side of an enclosed space. It can be used for both physical movement and abstract ideas. For example, you might say, I walked through the park. The train is passing through the tunnel. It can also indicate passing from the beginning to the end of a period of time or an event. We worked through the night to complete the project. She read through the entire book in one sitting. Now, let's move on to some common collocations or common word pairings with through. This is where we combine through with various nouns to create common English phrases. Through the door, window. This implies passing from one side of a door or window to the other. E.g., he entered through the door. Through the city, country. This means moving across different parts of a city or a country. E.g., they drove through the city. Through the crowd. This means moving amongst a group of people. E.g., she fought her way through the crowd. Remember, these collocations will make your English sound more natural and fluent. To reinforce what we've learned, Let's do a quick exercise. Fill in the blanks with appropriate prepositions in the following sentences. 1. She ran, blank, the finish line. Answer. Through. 2. They are traveling, blank, Europe next summer. Answer. Through. 3. He is looking, blank, the telescope. Answer. Through. Practicing exercises like this will help you internalize these collocations and use them more naturally. That wraps up our lesson on using through as a preposition of movement. Remember, through is a versatile preposition that can help you describe various kinds of movement. We hope this video has been helpful and you've gained a better understanding of through in collocations. Keep practicing these phrases and you'll be speaking English more fluently in no time. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.